two costume stylists are given three minutes to answer as many questions as they can. This is the lunch break. On this week's lunch break, we've got Emma Edwards and Zoe Wilson. Um, they've both got over 20 years experience um, costume styling. Um, Emma runs the costume department, which is a hire company based out of Media City UK, which has got over 50,000 costumes. I personally hired many costumes for my productions there, so you should check them out if you're after a costume. On this episode, we find out who should communicate more and stop being an arse. Hello guys. Hi. Welcome to the lunch break. You've got three minutes to answer as many questions. Is that me or you? Is that a camera thing? Emma. Emma's phone. Oh, is that Emma? Okay. I'm so sorry. It's all right. You got all the work. work. It's probably work. <laughs> Turn your phone off when you're She's filming. She's so in demand. Um, so you've got three minutes to answer as many questions as you can. Okay. We've never done it with two people before. So you can be tactical. You either answer both together or you might be of one mind. We'll okay. answer together. Okay, probably. fine. Is it quick fire? It, it, wait, it's as quick as you want to be. You want to be competitive? Ooh. Some people have been nah, not really you But you have to be informative because oh, no, 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 no one will watch if you're not informative. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Prep. Yeah. Pressure. Go. If you had to describe your job or divide it in percentages, what would it be? Oh. Okay. <laughs> divide it into percentages? Yeah. 10% ironing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 70% on set. If, uh, 20% of prep and return. Oh, that bit too. Mm. Prep and return, 40%. Yeah. Sounds good. It doesn't have to equal 100, it's fine. Um, we'd all have different jobs if we could add up to 100. What do your mums think you do? Oh, shop. <laughs> yeah. Well, my mum's been to see a live show we've worked on, so she's she seen knows. me in action. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. Um, how did you get to become stylists? You can, and the oh, I, you go first. I um, did a fashion degree and hated it, so I applied to Granada TV in my second year, yeah. and by letter, when there was no internet, okay. and that was there, <laughs> 21 years ago, and um, yeah, just started doing drama, and then went into styling, and then hoiked Zoe along about how yeah, I did uh, seven, seven years ago, I did started work experience with Emma, mm -hmm. and then I built up and up, and we've been together for seven years. Great. We do yeah. everything together. <laughs> This might Literally. take the rest of the, <laughs> this might take the rest of the thing. What's one thing that annoys you about the industry? The hours. The hours, yeah. The uh, cold the on cold. location. Yeah, that's yeah nice. I don't like that. Um, what to you guys would you have to do to make it? Like, is there a job or a thing to go like, I've made, not that you might be arrogant enough to say I made it, but to feel like, yeah, I've done it. I kind of, oh, feel. You, well, you're doing it now. Yeah. But for me, like, it'd be direct Star Wars. Oh, but, like, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know because I would I'm never happy. want you're, you're to go to a film. No, but I'm happy. I don't know. I don't feel like <laughs> yeah. I need to do like a thing. Yeah. I feel like just working constantly, okay. which is mm. what we're doing. Being busy. Yeah. Um, what can directors do to make your job easier? I'll be just like you. Oh, oh, oh I no, love no, them. No, no, seriously. seriously. <laughs> what, what, what? Communicate. Yeah. And not be an ass. Okay, that's good. Yeah, nice. Um, what can producers do to make your job easier? Communicate and not be an ass. <laughs> <laughs> More money, <laughs> more time, or all bit the more time, bit yeah. more time, more budget. Uh, stylist or wardrobe? Stylist. stylist. Is he not? Wardrobe's piece of furniture. Glam squad. No. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, what is your kind of most favourite piece of work? Like recently, if there's something they can see. Oh my goodness, um, we've just done the look fantastic which was amazing. Oh that was brilliant. It was all Barnamask and Circus and Burlesque. Medieval, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like of course. Like one. Uh, uh, what's the worst thing about being a freelancer? Um, being quiet. Being quiet and not knowing when you can book a holiday. It's true, holidays, that's mm. when that comes up. Uh, and best thing about being a freelancer? You can take a day off when you want. Being but quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, a piece of... Oh, no! oh That was pretty good we though. We needed six minutes for us. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll give you this one because on, uh, it's thinking. So a piece of advice for someone that wants to do your job. Because probably people watching out here that have typed this into YouTube and found you. So they're, they're desperate to replace you. Get to know the right <laughs> people. It's all about who you know. I think That's it's a lot thing. about doing a lot of work experience mm -hmm. to build your way up. Yeah. Because I did work experience of, uh, over a year before I started earning mm -hmm. money. Do you think there's a... Uh, we're in extra time now, so... Sorry. Tough, it's good. <laughs> um, 
do you think there is an attitude at the moment of people coming out of university and things that feel like they can just jump into yes, the job? Yes, yes. Everybody thinks they're a stylist because they like shopping or fashion. And it's a very different job yeah. to... Yeah. It's not as glamorous perceive. as people well, think. Well, as you said, glamorous. it's 10% shopping and the rest yeah. of it... Because also, like, it's... It's also, it's not just about having taste, but it's having, for me, for as a director of working with you guys, it's about having taste for a character or yeah. for a story. It's not like, oh, I like this, so it's good. Yeah. But you have to figure out, okay, what would this person wear? Yeah, and it's about know. making it work with art team and like working with brands like hair and makeup as well. But see, that's an interesting thing. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I take that for granted actually a little bit because you were always talking about colour and, and mm. hair and what was all that going mm. about. And, that just happens behind the scenes, which yeah. is great, which is good. I don't have to get involved. But um but yeah, that's an interesting thing that you you have to you're not just in your own clothes yeah. little box. Yeah. Probably a good thing if you're not noticing. Yeah, well that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's doing, a good We're doing good something chat. right. <laughs> yeah, that is a good chat. Um and uh just a funny end last question. What's the weirdest thing you ever like filmed or had the style or, or... Yeah, it's normally back behind the scenes for us oh gosh getting people changed <laughs> is that the Sing. weird stuff <laughs> I'll tell you about that later okay yeah um, maybe camera. not on YouTube uh, guys out of that was the lunch break oh, thank you very much thank you good hug oh, oh that was really? fun oh sorry I couldn't think of any answers I know. I was that was really interesting Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the lunch break don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel because there's going to be more episodes coming up every week and if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover leave them in the comments below and i'll feature them in upcoming videos